should probably just use a syringe, but I really want to keep my resources for the boss fight. I'll drink another health drink. We have 15 of them. I'll do two. Get rid of that gamer posture. I see. Let's get the nurse next. Okay, that hit me. Okay, dodging behind them is much safer. I probably could do that better, but it's fine. Let's see. Where do I want to go? Shower, restroom, pool. That leads to all the S rooms. And then the left, if we turn this way, will bring us to the stairwell access pharmacy. And this leads directly up to a save point as well, which is very convenient. God, I hate the way they sound. I tried to dodge that. No. I just killed you. the sounds I'm hearing. Okay, nothing in those. Nothing in there. Oh, God. The big ticks are all over there. I can fight nurses. I can do this. Never hit three times. Oh, God damn it. Ramirez says, thankfully the nurses in this game don't have guns like in Silent Hill 3. That's true. Brookhaven is just so brutal. 
<laughs> it was so brutal in our enhanced edition run too. That w- it was really where we just ended up like falling off the resource cur- curve. So I'm really, really trying not to fall into the same issue now. There we go. Nothing in the first aid box? No, the med kit. There's supposed to be a med kit here. There was a med kit here in the original. I needed it. All right. Well. It's probably because I have so many resources. Like this health drink. Oh my god, we get to we get to explore around outside in the garden. That's very pretty. We'll go out there in a minute. Now we have full access to all areas of the hospital and a save point. So that rocks. Noted, uh, nurses can't quick turn, indeed. I feel like I've spent five hours here already. And we still have the nightmare hospital go to go through. <laughs> Okay, they can quick turn, actually. Yep. It actually makes it harder to dodge the follow-up because it has delayed timing. Good to know. I have lost a little bit of track of where I am, like what my actual goal is right now. I need to get to Laura. We need to finish up the loop on the first floor. If I can get fighting nurses down to the same science I have fighting mannequins down to, that would be cool. Back down here. Mold remover. Okay. What's that for? Oh, she homes in on me. Oh, she conked me. I should always double dodge past them. That's probably the best bet. That's tough. I just made an accidental extra save again. How many will I make over the course of a playthrough? 200? 
All right. Once more into the void, I guess. You are. Always dodge all three. All right, now let them come. One. Pergy says, gotta go to bed. Good night, all. Thanks so much for watching, Pergy. I hope you had a good time today. All right. Grab the mold remover again. Very good. Okay, come on. Keep getting stuck in the doorway. History repeats itself. <laughs> Lurker says, Wow, she's a terrible nurse. Oh, see, the delay there is what keeps catching me. I don't want to get caught slipping again. I, I didn't... Mm. That was brutal. There's another nurse, like, right up here, too. And the Nightmare Hospital is going to be even worse. Jesus Christ. There are so many of them. There are so many of them. I have to really get through a bunch of combat encounters in order to survive this like one little set of rooms. This is devastating. All right. Let's see if I can do this one properly. Jay says, meanwhile, Maria upstairs is like, where's James? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we'll go upstairs. We'll save again. And we'll just chip at them one at a time. How's that for a plan? This combat is incredibly difficult. 
compared to the even the original, like on hard mode, it's like, all right, well, you can just kind of stun lock nurses. You just kind of hit them with the pipe and it's fine. This game, no fucking way. No way. You got to actually play the game. That shit's tough. Do not come back to life. Oh, she's not. Okay. She's just hanging out right here. You try to use dodge as a movement option, you get punished for it, big time. All right. It's in the walls deep inside. The mold remover gets rid of it for a while, but then the thing reappears in the exact same spots. We need to get in there, break it all down if we have to, and root it out. Yuck. I really don't have enough shotgun ammo. That's the issue. We survived. We survived the the hell encounter. All right, now we need to just figure out what the hell to do. We need to get the patient items, effects, I guess. So we need to look around. Can we look at this? Nope. Is there anything in these rooms? Doesn't seem like it. It would be kind of funny if while Marilla thinks that you can hear faint grunts from somewhere in the hospital. That's funny. Uh, let's see. Uh, anything here? Five meals for celiac disease, seven lactose intolerant, running low on potatoes and rice. Patient broke a whole cart of dinner plates, need to stock up. Neat. I don't think there's anything else around here. More handgun ammo is always great. So where am I going? Have I not been to this restroom? I've been inside this restroom. Yeah, I have. Okay. It's just, oh, it's just not marked because who cares? Gotcha. I see. Can't go in there. Cafeteria. I guess we just have to go to the garden now. Um, and then we'll try the shower room. Unless there's storage I can actively get into. Is that this? Nope. Okay. Yeah, we'll just loop back through. I wonder if the secret items are like still in this game. Like post playthrough secret stuff, I mean. I wonder if you can get the great knife and things like that. All right, outside we go. 
Oh, great. A lying figure. There we go. Okay. Um, let's see. We can go in there, which I will do. But first... Uh. Uh. All right. Managed to avoid getting hit too badly. Yes, more ammo. Love that. We'll go in there. I like how heavy puzzle-wise the nightmare sequences have been as well. That's been nice. Oh my god. Whoa, I didn't even get an animation there. It just cut to you died. <sighs> there are so many of them. Another incident with 0050. He got out of the pool and made a break for the garden, cutting himself wide open in the process. Thank God I was still here. He was completely manic, screaming, had the orderlies hold him down, barely managed to stitch him up. He's back in his room for now, sedated. Okie doke. All right, I need to remember. I'm going to get jumped the second I get in here. Oh my god, another syringe. Thank god. Fucking course. How many of you assholes are there? Any more? Any more takers? Full heal. What's he looking at? What are you looking at, James? Oop. Nothing. Kettle says you're looking pretty stocked up. No, remember that's what I said. Um, I said, oh, I have so many med kits when we played Silent Hill 2 Enhanced Edition on hard mode, and then I ended up using them all in the hospital, the place we are in right now. 
because I remember that. And I'm trying to not let that happen again. Hi, Nick's typical. There we go. Yes, shotgun shells, please. Thank you. Medical tube. Okay. Hello, Milo. Why are you standing on my desk, blocking half the screen, staring at me? Is there something I can help you with? Are you experiencing difficulties in your lavish little kitty life? to go pool pump we have to drain the pool in order to get something in there do I have access to the doctor's lounge yet I don't think so because I'll probably get the key for the doctor's lounge from upstairs oh I can just come in here I didn't even notice okay yes give what is that? Give. That looks like ammo. There we go. Perfect. All right. Keypad combination note. I think we know how to get into the keypad now. This case bears a disturbing similarity to a situation that took place in the facility a few years back. The patient was admitted on a court order, but with the consent of his remaining family, his condition uh, appeared to be improving for the first few weeks. The administered medications paired with individual sessions uh, with a psychologist and art therapy alleviated his odd... Uh, avolition? Yep. Anhedonia and social withdrawal. There was no reason for concern. They didn't even know anything was wrong until the night guard reported one of his keys was missing. When they found him, it was already too late. Yeah, so that's that's stuff from the original there. Yes. Thank you. We are running a little bit lower on supplies than I want to at this point in the game, but if we was playing on standard... We'd probably be doing great. What is that? All right, that just leads right there. Okay. Ooh, anything in here? No. Unless that's ammo? No, it's not. Okay. Let's use the keypad. I don't even remember where that is. Don't let alcohol shatter your life. Yeah, interesting. Um, okay. 
Where is the keypad's upstairs one, I think. So we gotta run up the stairs. Into the cafeteria area. And then it's some combination of three in there. Is it? It's through here. Oops. That scared the piss out of me. I thought that was a monster. All right. What? Let's see. Hold on. Keypad combination. A note with a new keypad combination found in the doctor's lounge. Is it... There we go. 7456. Nice. I'm hearing shit I don't want to hear. I do want bullets, though. Oh, okay, it's just these. And I have the mold remover, so... Is this what I want to use that on? Yes. Moldy radiograph. Okay. They feed me garbage and rotting meat, crawling with maggots. Thick with sinew, they make me bite down. The juices, red and yellow, hit the back of my throat. I choke and I gag until I vomit, till my throat is sore. I'm aching, throbbing tube of flesh. I push it all out, but I can still taste it. Fine, Milo, you can sit on my desk. Just don't sit on my mouse pad. Okay. So I have two of three radiographs. Still need to figure out how to get into L3. Which I don't think is possible yet. I need two more armbands. So maybe it's time to just go use the armband that we have. Okay, this is just one of them. Can't open that. Oh my god, there's still this puzzle too. Uh, we have so many puzzles to do and I have no idea what we have rem what we should do right now. <laughs> this is not good. Okay, I Let's see. Milo, no. You're not allowed to be right there. Uh, all right, let's see. Okay, keep at L3 we can't get into. Observation room we still can't do. How do I switch the level of the map? I thought it was just by pushing that, but... Men's locker room, women's locker room we've already been in. Okay, it's the it's right trigger, left trigger. Okay. X-ray viewer. Um, oh, is there another elevator? I guess maybe we can take the elevator down to... or No, I guess I can't take the elevator to th the third floor. We've already been to the basement. We've already been to this basement, I should say. Pool pump. Not really sure about that one. I'm trying to figure it out. Let's see. What rooms have we been in and not been in? Hmm. Uh, 
L3. I mean, I guess I can just use the moldy thing on and uh, the mold remover on the moldy thing. I guess let's look at my inventory maybe. There we go. Cleaned up radiograph. Medical tube, bent needle, makes sense. Thick piece of medical tubing found stuck in a teddy bear. Okay, so what do we use this on? I don't know. I'm not sure. Guess we'll figure it out. Let's go back one by one on the first floor. Just room by room. Try to see if we can find any drains or things like that. Because uh, that's what it was in the first game. It's weird because my memory of the original is kind of messing with my memory of... Oh, never mind. Here it is. It's marked with green paint, which is interesting. They did that in the moth room as well. This was on the roof, I think, right? There we go. God, the cinematography is fucking good. Pool key. Oh, this is for the pool. Okay. So this must be the pool pump key. Nope. Fuck you. You don't get to stay alive. Okay. Interesting. Oh god. I guess I can kill that thing quickly. <laughs> Press R2 to break a wall. Okay, I got a second bracelet. So we solved the pool pump issue. What other remaining things do we have to do? X-ray viewer. We gotta do stuff with the x-rays, so let's go back up to the x-ray room. I have two of them. I don't think that's enough. I think there are three. Knowing my memory, there's probably like six, and I just forgot, but that's fine. We haven't progressed very much um, since a while ago, so we're actually doing pretty okay. I guess. I'm not progressing like at the speed I want to be here, but that's okay. <laughs> 